morning guys and welcome to vlogtober day number 13. i'm in the kitchen i'm just making some oatmeal today is going to be an errand day so i have a lot of running around and things to do and i will bring you guys along because i want to eat quick and get on the road and for breakfast i am just making some oatmeal with blueberries and this is a new oatmeal to me and I have to cook it for 10 minutes, which seems like a really long time, but it's just about done. First stop of the day is Target and I am going to be very adventurous today and I am going to go into the store. <laughs> Lately, I've just been doing pickups. I have not been shopping in stores for quite a while now. I've just been taking a little bit of a break from that, but it's a Wednesday morning and it's pretty quiet, so I think I'll be okay. And what I am doing is a friend of mine is hosting a vendor event brunch at her house this weekend. So I'm putting together a basket for Mickey World Travel and I just wanted to have, in addition to a Disney gift card, I wanted to put some really cutesy Disney merchandise in the basket. So I'm gonna see what they have here at Target. They usually have really cute Disney items. If not, I can always head over to Marshall's as well because they have really cute Disney stuff. And that is the plan. I also need to just pick up some odds and ends for the house, just some things that I've recently run out of. So I am going to head into Target, see what we can find, and I'll let you guys know how I make out. So that was a very unsuccessful trip to Target. They had no Disney items like at all, which is really weird for Target. I couldn't even find gift cards. So I am at Marshall's now. Hopefully I'll make out better here. I did pick up a few household items that I needed at Target. So I guess it wasn't a complete waste of time, but nothing that had anything relevant to Disney, which is crazy for Target because they usually have a lot of really cute Disney items. So we'll see how I make out here. Also in my travels today, I've been listening to that Riley Sager book, survive the night and it is not good. And I hate to say that because I absolutely love Riley Sager, but this book is driving me crazy. I have about an hour left and I am struggling to listen to it. So maybe I'll share with you guys a little bit later um, why it's so frustrating. It will definitely be a spoiler, but I feel like everyone needs to know what this spoiler is because it's really annoying. And basically it makes the entire story completely nonsensical. Like the book never makes sense. You can never commit to the storyline or believe anything that's happening. And it's just very frustrating. All right, I'm gonna head into Marshall's. Okay, so I did really well in Marshall's and I'm kind of freaking out right now because they have this limited edition, sorry, it's in a mug. <laughs> This limited edition Joffrey's coffee and it's the Mickey and Minnie Winter Wonderland. And they had four, I bought all four of them because I learned my lesson when they had their full limited edition coffee. I bought a couple and then I could never get it again. And it's usually really good. And this actually smells really good. So I'm so excited. One of them is going to be for the basket that I'm putting together. I had the idea of putting together like a holiday winter themed basket. So this was perfect. I found this mug on clearance. I'll show you guys once I put everything together, but I was really excited about that. So now I am headed to the Dollar Tree because I need the clear wrap that goes around the basket. So I'm hoping that they have that there. Just finished up at the dollar store and I picked up Starbucks. I just got a cheese Danish. It actually doesn't look very appetizing, does it? <laughs> and I got a chai tea pumpkin spice latte. It's almost 12 o'clock and I'm getting pretty hungry. I've been running around all morning, still struggling through this book. And I actually, isn't this cute? I have this bag that Emily got for me on our Disney trip at the outlets, at the Disney store outlets. And it's all themed for Halloween. So anyway, I just have like stuff to do in there as well. But anyway, I have my laptop and stuff in there in case I needed to do any work while I was running around this morning. But I'm just going to have a quick snack and then I'm going to be headed home. I am back. I actually just took the dogs for a good walk. And now I'm going to show you everything that I picked up and then we're going to put together that basket. I'm really excited to see how it looks. And I'm so happy with all of the things that I found for it. So I'm going to give you like a little mini Target haul. Marshalls and dollar store. <laughs> All right, I'll show you what I picked up today. Okay, so from Target, I really needed jeans. Like I lost two pair of jeans somehow. I cannot find them anywhere. So I usually like the, um, is it called Denizen? Denizen by Levi's that Target has. 
I usually range between a size two and a four, but I figured I'd rather go bigger than smaller right now. So I'm gonna give these a try. And then I also ran out of face moisturizer. So I picked up the Burt's Bees Firming Moisture Cream. I never used this before, but I feel like Burt's Bees is very natural. There's not a lot of chemicals or anything in it. So it's 99% natural origin. That should be a good thing. <laughs> so I'm gonna give that a try. I also needed a new face sponge. And then I picked up my favorite tissues, which is the Puffs that has Vicks in it. Some napkins. This is the dishwasher detergent that I use. Some feminine products. And then I also picked up the Green Mountain Nantucket blend for the Keurig and some Reynolds wrap. So that's my super exciting Target haul. <laughs> and now here's some stuff that I got from the dollar store. This is that clear wrap that I was telling you guys about. And everything is kind of mixed up right now because I was putting together the stuff for the basket. So these index cards were from the dollar store as well as these thank you cards. This I picked up from Marshall's, just a little mini Chi hairspray. And as you guys know, all of the coffee I picked up from Marshall's. <laughs> and then I thought this was such a cute Christmas cocoa or coffee mug to include in my basket as well as this mug and this is like tin which I really like it was on clearance and then I got some of the cookies that Marshall's has the Mickey Mouse and Friends cookies and then the uh, basket is also going to get some of the coffee that I found and then this is all stuff from the Dollar Tree so I have these light up little bulbs that go on a necklace. I thought that would be fun to put around the basket. And then just some little decorative filler pieces. I have this big snowflake ornament I thought was really cute. A couple of bows. And then I also picked up the basket bags. Wasn't sure if the basket bag would work. That's why I picked up the rolls as well. But I figure I can make something work. And I don't think this is the basket I'm going to use. I have another one upstairs. So I'm gonna give that one a try first because I like to use this for when I actually put out brochures and stuff when I do shows and vendor events and things like that. All right, so I'm gonna go put together the basket now. How cute is this? And everything fits perfectly, so I just need to wrap it up now. So I have the coffee back here and then I just have the ornament and some of the decorative pieces. I also have a Mickey and Minnie that I bought a while back from Kohl's and the coffee mugs. I think it's really cute. All right, that is done. I'm gonna wrap that up and get it ready to go for this weekend. So here it is all packaged up. I think it looks super cute. I'm really happy with these basket bags. I'm actually gonna go back and get more because they're rather large and they work perfectly and it's just so much easier than using the gift wrap clear packaging. So really happy with that. Just finishing up some laundry. I actually already put some of it away and I ended up just having a peanut butter sandwich for lunch because <laughs> I kind of had a late snack and it's after 2.30 and I just ate lunch. So yeah, Madison will be home soon. I'm gonna get this all put away, tidy up downstairs, and then we will start our second part of the day, which is usually a lot of running around. I just tidied up a little bit around the living room dogs of course are always here <laughs> and I'm really excited for tonight because tonight is my Patreon book club. I always look forward to it. The book that we read was one of the best books that I've read in a very long time. It's called Rock, Paper, Scissors by Alice Feeney and on Audible it was amazing. So I'm excited to talk about it tonight with my Patreon friends and it's just always so much fun. We're going to do a Zoom call and what I really like is it's a great way for me to get to know my patrons because we actually can chat with each other and see each other if they're comfortable with it. I never force that. People can just listen in too. But I really, really enjoy it and look forward to it every month. So I'm excited for that tonight. Right now, I am going to finish cleaning up some stuff in the kitchen and then I am going to be taking Madison to dance in a little while. And for dinner, I think I'm just gonna do something. I feel like I say this every night, I'm gonna do something really quick and easy. <laughs> but I'm just gonna do this Italian chicken pan dinner that I make where basically you lay all of the ingredients on a pan, put it in the oven for like an hour and it's done. So that's gonna be quick, easy and healthy. It's just chicken, potatoes and green beans. So that's gonna be dinner and I am going to get started in the kitchen. 
All I did was layer sliced up potatoes with chicken breast and green beans. And now I'm just going to sprinkle some of this Italian seasoning over it. And it's like the Italian dressing. And then I'm going to put foil over it and cook it in the oven on 350, I guess about an hour, hour and 15 minutes approximately. We just got back from our walk and dinner smells delicious. So I'm gonna go pick up Madison from dance and then we're gonna eat and then we're gonna get ready for book club. It's gonna be a fun night. Right, Chester? <laughs> yes, it is. All right. Madison is back from dance class and dinner is ready. So we're gonna eat quick. How was dance? Good. Yeah, you have fun? What was, what was tonight's dance? Troop? Troop? Nice. Just finished book club. It was so much fun. I always enjoy it. It really is a good time. Um, we voted on our next book, which is going to be The Keeper of Happy Endings. So if any of you guys want to join in on the fun, you can always check out my link below to join Patreon. We do other fun things too. And I have to start actually thinking about a Halloween Zoom get together that I wanna do probably like next week. So I, I need to get on that. But anyway, that's going to be it for tonight. I am going to get ready for bed and I want to actually upload and start editing this so that it will not be as stressful in the morning. So I will see you guys all tomorrow and yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Good night.